Want some home design inspiration and help the community at the same time? The Junior League of Detroit is hosting its annual Designer Show House at the Fisher Mansion in Detroit. Yeah, it's quite a place. Beautiful. 7 Action wow. News reporter Simon Chowdhury shows us why the homeowner, actor Hill Harper, is now opening the doors to the public. If you love historic homes and you love interior design, there's a place you need to check out and it's for a great cause. Welcome to my house. And what a house it is. This is the Charles H. Fisher Mansion. Built in the 1920s, this nearly 18,000 square foot home is now owned by actor Hill Harper. I kind of see this house as Detroit's White House. Um, it's going to be a house for the people. And that's why Hill is hosting the Junior League of Detroit's Designers Show House. It's an annual fundraiser where interior designers and decorators unleash their creativity. This year, 39 designers from six states have been selected to transform 44 spaces in the mansion. For the more permanent work, it had to be approved by Hill and his lead architect, Chandra Moore. Take this second floor kitchen and living suite. We blew out all of those rooms there. We opened up the ceiling there. And so the second floor really speaks to, to Hill and his aesthetic. All the rooms have a vibrant feel, especially with eye-catching colors. Some cool features include the lighting fixtures, like this one. It's made from car parts. A floral designer got to take over one bathroom and check out the marble in this master bathroom. Jealous? Yeah, me too. Hill describes his style as a combination of mixing old and new. Take a look at these golden gates. The gate's been with the house since the beginning of time, and so that was really interesting how um, we kind of kept those things intact. The home will be open to the public from September 15th until October 7th. Funds raised will be used to support the Junior League's community programs. Hill is hoping you'll come out and check out this masterpiece of a home. Most of the work is the restoration, and then you do the beautification at the very end. So to see how everything's coming together is fantastic. In the Boston Edison neighborhood, Simon Chowdhury, 7 Action News.